Alright guys, back again. So let's talk about Mikey, which I watched for the first time on Amazon Prime. It's a movie that I've wanted to watch for a long time, and I finally am glad to see that they had it on Amazon Prime. I should have just bought it, but you know, I'm probably going to buy it now because Mikey is one of those horror movies that is right at my alley because those Killer Kids movies uh, like are really fun, like The Good Son or Orphan, or Bloody Birthday, like, those movies are my jam. They're just really, really fun, fun horror movies, and I really like that, that, uh, killer kid, like, subgenre of horror, like, of slashers, and, uh, not to say The Good Son was a slasher, because he, like, gets one person, but, like, movies like Orphan and Bloody Birthday do that, where it is a slasher, pretty much, and this one, I was just so excited to see because it's right in my alley. And Mikey is a basic story of a kid named Mikey who gets adopted in a new family. And he's got a mysterious past. And then all these deaths start happening around him. And you, as you, the audience, see him kill these people. And, like, they, the family just doesn't realize because they're really stupid. But the movie itself, the thing I really liked about Mikey is it started out in a way where I genuinely got so angry in a good way. Like I was angry at the, at how, how crazy Mikey was because the movie starts, it packs a punch with what Mikey does and, and it's horrifying and it just makes me so angry with the opening of the movie. And after the movie opens, he moves to a new family and, or is adopted by a new family. And again, all this strange stuff starts happening where nobody realizes that he's killing all these people. And the thing about it for me is I really just thought this was entertaining for the most part because I really liked the kid performance was really good. Kid who played Mikey, I thought he was he was intimidating, and I liked how lifeless he felt. Like it's it's scary how how good of an actor he was, and I liked too that they had Ast Ashley Lawrence as well. It's funny to see her in this as well as one of his teachers, and the movie I enjoyed from a level of this is a fun like killer kids movie, but. The movie, for me, in the third act of the movie, and I'm not going to spoil the movie, even though it's it's a basic horror movie, you know how it's going to end pretty much, but I'm not going to spoil it. But the movie, the third act, really, really annoyed me because these kind of movies, by definition, of course, are going to have really stupid characters. They're going to have characters that are stupid and characters that do stupid things for the killer to win. And it happens so many times in the third act that I was so frustrated. And I typically don't get that angry at these kind of movies, but this movie was just, at the end of the, at the third act, it was too stupid for its own good. Literally, like, for example, Mikey will have, like, a bow and arrow. And he's, like, from the other side of the house, and this person walks into view and they're like oh, Mikey and they just stand there and he shoots him with an arrow and it's like you don't it it really genuinely annoyed me and I don't know why this one annoyed me more than any others because this movie just it bugged me and how annoying the ending was like the ending just bothered me but the rest of the movie is creepy and effective and the ending of the movie is still creepy but it just annoyed me so much in how stupid these characters were and there are so many horror movies that I give a pass with characters being stupid and, and doing stupid things. But in this, I was sitting there like, this is just too much. And it, and it's really a shame because I really liked up to the end. And the end is not bad, but the end I just thought was, it was serviceable, but it just annoyed me. It bugged me so much. So really, that's the only issue I have with the movie on an entertainment value is that it's just so stupid at the end of the movie in a way where I didn't enjoy it. And like I said, there's so many horror movies I can enjoy that are stupid like this, but this one for some reason just got on my nerves at the end of the movie. And I just wish that it wouldn't have annoyed me as much. I'm hypocritical, I guess, because like I said, there's other movies that horror movies that do the same thing. But this one just annoyed me enough. Enough to where I had to make a point about it. But but overall, Mikey is still an entertaining horror movie. And it's still a fun one in its genre uh, of Killer Kids movies. I think that it's really fun and enjoyable for the most part. With a few minor things like the ending for me. But like I said, that doesn't ruin the movie. It's just whatever. So 
pretty much on this one that's all i have to say about the movie i think that the movie is fun i think it's entertaining uh again for the most part like i said with my rant but overall that's it that's all i could talk about with mikey i definitely recommend if you haven't seen this go and check it out it's on amazon prime um and tell me down below if you've seen mikey what you think about it and thank you guys for watching